In this video, I'll show you how to fix in case you're having a black screen problem with your Meta Quest 3. There's many different reasons why this could happen and I'll show you how to fix this. So let's start with the most common mistake most people do that makes the screen go black. You see over here, this thing that is between the two lenses, this is a proximity sensor. And it's very important that this sensor is not obstructed. If you installed the silicone pad of the Quest 2 on your Meta Quest 3, it will cover the sensor and this way the, the unit does not know that your face is approaching and this way it cannot turn the screen on. So this could be a reason. If you have long hair, make sure that your hair does not pass through this pad over here and covers the sensor or if you're using any third party accessories sometimes although they're well designed when you press this against your face this pad can go down like this and cover some parts of the sensor and again your meta quest 3 will not recognize that your head is in the headset and will not turn on the screens so they will just stay black so this is something to keep in mind and and for, for most people, this is the main issue with the Quest. Another thing that people do that can cause the black screen is that they do not adjust the straps properly. The headset needs to stay very snug against your face because again, if your face stays too far from this sensor, the proximity sensor over here, well, the Oculus will not detect your head and therefore will not turn on the screens. So make sure everything is staying snugly. When you move your head around, it's not normal that you need to adjust it uh, every single time. It just means that you need to tighten these straps. Well, this is the elite strap here, but even with the normal strap is the same thing. Make sure everything stays tight. Now, if this didn't solve your issue, I'll show you how to reboot the unit. Uh, rebooting it will not delete any games, will not delete anything. It's just like a force restart. To force restart your headset, it's very easy. The single thing, the only thing you need to do is to find the power button that is located over here, this circle button, and you need to keep him keep it pressed for about 10 seconds. OK, so let me do it with you. I'm keeping it pressed like this, 10 seconds. And no matter what sound the unit is making, you just keep pressing. Okay, now we're at uh, six seconds, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Then you can release. At this point, the screen should still be dark. Okay, this simply means that it's shut down. To power it back on, you will need to wait at least 30 seconds just to make sure that it's completely shut down and then we're going to press the same circle button over here now put the headset on your face before doing this so keep press this button until you see something happening on the screen usually it's the meta logo that will appear okay so let me do it i'm pressing and we can see the meta logo appearing and the headset is also making the usual noise telling you that it's powered on. If after doing what I just told you, nothing is still happening, maybe your headset is not charged. Okay, and this can happen for many reasons. I obviously recommend you use the charger that came in the box. Simply plug the headset over here and wait at least five or six hours okay when it's plugged if you do not have the original charger one problem that may arise is you see this is a usb type c and you may think that any adapter will work with your quest 3 well in a way it's true but many people experience issues if the power adapter is above 16 watts this is a 16 watts the original so if you're trying to replace it at least find one that is 16 watts or lower the best is to be exactly 16 obviously if you choose one with more power, there's a chance that you may damage your Quest 3. I know with the Quest 2, many had the power port over here burned down and all the plastic melted over time. So this is something you need to keep in mind as well. 
use the original one at least use a third party one from a brand that is not too sketchy this way we can make sure that your headset is fully charged so once you waited five or six hours on the charger then you can power it on by keeping press whoops, the power button until something happens on the headset screen so i hope one of these solutions work for you if so please leave a comment down below and tell me which one of them worked i'm always curious to know what is the most common um, black screen cause please leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video